Hey guys, what's going on? It's Juff here, and I'm bringing you another free editing software, and this one is called VideoPad. If we open up here, it says I have to purchase online, but it is free to download and free to use, and that is only if you want extra things to use, I believe. You don't have to actually do it to be able to faff around with your videos and do what you want. It's called VideoPad Video Editor, and as again, the link will be in the description below. And I don't think I have any projects here, so I'm going to import some media. I'm going to use this one from my last video and drag that into the timeline. Now, what you see about the layout of this is it is completely different to the other editors you've seen, and it can look quite intimidating. It certainly intimidated me as soon as I opened it, as I didn't know where everything was, what things weren't very clear to me. And one of the main things is these this dual screen here now basically the one on the right is your preview screen it will show you all of your footage that you've got on your timeline whereas this one is more or less a fade in fade out point and you can add clips into wherever your mouse thing uh, your mouse cursor is but what we're going to just check i'm just going to check out the basics of this now what we've got on the video track is a lot of transitions now, if we're going to cross fade, that will be at the end of the track, so that, as you see here, it will cross fade in, and the other footage would fade up into it to give you the next area of your media. Now, we have our split buttons here, so I can split there, and split there, and so on and so forth. And we have secret style timeline, which many people would rather have because it's a lot easier to use. Or we have storyboard, which can just make it clamped up together and you don't know what you're doing. But that's just my opinion. We have our zoom in bars down here, zoom in, zoom out. And we have show everything that's on so far. And we have our overlay tracks, our audio track, soundtracks, and another soundtrack. So we're allowed two soundtracks, which is quite clever, but there's not many much room for effects or everything but if i drag an effect in here effects and go on to rotate it will drag the rotate it will drag the rotate effect onto the media file that you've got clicked it won't go by what you drag when you click it it will just add it to that whole clip and that's that done Transitions we've already gone through. If we go up here, we can insert a blank screen. I'm going to put mine to the end of the timeline, and it's come out orange. What a nice color. But obviously, you can mess around with that, putting it on what custom color you want. Narrate is a good tool for commentators if the audio that uh, the screen that you're capturing doesn't come with the audio or that you didn't decide to commentate over it and you want to commentate with this. If I press record here, you'll see that you'll that my audio bar is going up as I'm talking and when I stop it goes down so you can clearly see it's working and it keeps you place and you're allowed to follow what's on screen and that will automatically add to the media down here look so you can see and we have a snapshot sh snapshot button here and we obviously have our subtitles which we can drag to any point I believe so here I can go like that and just leave that there wherever you want and it'll appear on there uh, we have our preview Press button here you'll which, see as you can hear my voice that my audio bar is going up as I'm talking and when I stop it goes down to which comes out pretty blurry but that's because it's not rendered and what if you are using this to upgrade uh, upload to YouTube then this is where it stumped me because if you go on here there isn't an upload button which confused me and there isn't an upload button on there and I just got confused on what you do what you actually do is you go on to save movie go across to upload and then you have your YouTube there your Facebook there your Flickr there if you are using any of them but obviously I'm just gonna upload this to YouTube and that's all that I'm done with you put all your uh, details in and what you want your video title and everything and it'll automatically upload to YouTube. You can also do this on disc, computer, port devices, image sequence, stereoscopic, 3D with nice pictures of some glasses there. But that is pretty much all from this. I believe that it is free forever unless you decide to buy online and in which you will get extra things or make it look better or something. I'm not completely sure. 
But if you want any in-depth details on any of the uh, of any of the aspects of this, then please feel free to message me, comment, like, and subscribe, and all the good stuff. And thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.